All right, this is the last one. Uh, last and greatest. Um, all right, so uh, what we're going to do is um, we have uh, spin states plus and minus z, which are e and zero respectively. Um, and we're going to say that time t equals zero, an electron is in minus the minus x state. What is the probability of finding minus x as a function of time? It's very similar to the example on uh, page 112 of your book. Uh, basically, what we want to start out with first is the first thing we need to do is we need to write our um, our uh, our wave function that is at, at time equals zero in terms of the uh, of the energy eigenstates, so the states for which energy is well defined. So what we're going to need to do. Um, so again, we're starting out in minus x. And what we need to do is write it as some uh, um, uh, some uh, constant times uh, um, times plus c uh, plus some constant times minus z. All right. If you remember, minus x is just square root of one half minus square root of one half. Um, and so uh, if we're trying to write square root of 1 half minus square root of 1 half in terms of uh, a constant times 1, 0 plus another constant times 0, 1, it's, it should be pretty clear, hopefully, uh, that C plus needs to just equal uh, square root of one half and c minus needs to equal minus square root of one half. All right, so that's kind of the whole idea. All right, do we get that? Hopefully hopefully we get that idea. I, I'm asking if you get that idea to nobody. This is, this is insane. Um, anyway, okay. Um, and so we can immediately write down uh, uh, the, the function as a function of time. Um, so that's just equal to uh, square root of one half, all right, times uh, the cosine of the energy t over h bar, okay, um, times the plus z, which is one zero, all right, and then we add uh, the oh sorry, the constant is minus, so we subtract square root of one half uh, cosine of the energy in this case, which is zero t times h bar times the minus z site, which is 0, 1. Okay, um, and so uh, um, uh, if we write that out, uh, that is uh, um, that is just equal to, uh, we're going to get square root of 1 half, whoops, cosine of et over h bar um, on the top, we're going to get a zero on the top from this from this part because there's there's a zero there, um, and then we go to the bottom, uh, and we're going to get uh, there's a zero there. Uh, the cosine of zero is just one, so we're just going to get a minus square root of one half on the bottom. Okay. So that's uh, that's uh, that's that's basically what we're gonna have. Uh, Thomas More has been writing this this way. Um, it doesn't really matter. Whatever you want to do, cosine of e t uh, over h bar, and then uh, minus one on the bottom. Okay. Um, so we can. So that's that's kind of our answer. Uh, we can do the same thing to the um, the si the sine component of uh, of our um, of our equation. Uh, so um, again, uh, this is just going to be square root of one half uh, um, times sine of et over h bar uh, times of one zero um, minus square root of one half times the sine of zero times t over h bar times zero one. Now, um, in this case, the sine of zero is zero, so this whole term is going to go to zero, and so at the end, you just get for the sine part, you just get uh, the um, uh, the square root of one half times 
uh, sine of et over h bar um, and n0 on the bottom. All right, good, good, good. So those are our two, those are our two things. Um, again, uh, to calculate, uh, so that's, those, those are the two wave functions. To calculate uh, how likely it is to be at, um, uh, in, in the minus x at some later time, we have to calculate the, the inner product between minus x and each one of these components. So let's do the cosine first. All right. Um, that's just going to equal uh, square root of one half minus square root of one half uh, onto uh, the cosine component, which is just uh, there's going to be a um, uh, which is a square root of one half cosine of e t over h bar uh, minus square root of one half. All right, so if we do that uh, multiplication again, this multiplies there, that multiplies there, we just get one half. Uh, cosine of et over h bar plus one half. Uh, so that's that part. Um, and then if we do uh, the same thing on the sine minus x, um, 